materials and creators my library is a uh, half rearranged but i wanted to make a video in here one more video because my costume was matching with the wall well how do you like it my christmas costume and you have to be bothered again by the noises of vehicle in the back well this video is about the massive book haul, book haul of 2020 i received so 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 many books in 2020 like there's no limit i haven't purchased or got so many books in past few years and uh, the one reason was we were staying at home so our parents even allowed us to buy books so that we don't keep annoying or irritating them and don't demand our moms to make some recipe right well First, some free advice like Ranchoda's Chanchar of 3 years and um, that is if you want to buy books, you if you want to collect books, so many books and have a shelf of your own which you desire by seeing so many Instagrammers like me, I have got messages like you have so many books, I want this number of books but I am broke but I don't have money. First is I'm also unemployed. The money I got from reviews is not enough to fill up my shelves. And uh, yeah, so I'm unemployed generally. And um, I don't do impulsive buying, first of all. I purchase books which I know I can read in upcoming two to three months or which I decide to read and then search it on some online website and purchase it. So the first advice is if you want to spend somewhere else like buying books you should just start saving somewhere else like uh, don't spend 200 bucks on a single cup of coffee at least for a month and save your money from there and buy books or don't go to a mall and just buy some one piece uh, dress of 1200 or 1300 you have to save from one thing one place so that you can spend on another you can't just get away with the saying that i have this habit of collecting books i'm not doing drugs or anything illegal but yeah because we are unemployed man <laughs> how much we can pressurize our parents right so yeah let's begin our video without any further delay and um, uh, three packages came just this morning so i haven't opened it yet for you guys but the rest of the books are unopened and they are placed so messingly over my bed right there and uh, yeah i'm gonna open that in front of you and then later tell you about all the books the prizes i got them and the review copies and the second book uh, second hand book stores on instagram and everywhere else let's begin I just saw on Instagram this uh, book prelude to be a right uh, at rupees 182 and I immediately get back on Amazon and when I searched it it was 400 and I said oh my god I just missed the chance then I took my another chance and searched it on Flipkart and I got it for 180 let's see is this that one or someone Yes, it's that book and wow, wow, wow. The feeling of holding a new book in your hand and that to a hardback. I got this brochure of the ultimate reading list and there are so many books on it with their prices. Well, I will see later. This is Prelude to be right and this, the MRP is $4.99 and I got it for $1.80. How lucky I am. And this is a hardback as you can see. Can't wait to read this one. It's about the author Annie Zedin. And yeah, just move on to another. This another package is from Amazon. Wow. <laughs> what is this? Some gift wrapping idea or what? Well, this is The Boat Die at the End by Adam Silvera. I've heard a lot and lot about it on Bookstagram. And 90% um, of reviews were highly recommended and positive. So I couldn't wait to purchase this. It was in my wish list from past one year. And finally, it got uh, I got it for, for rupees 140. And this cover is so pretty. It uh, just shine if you reflect. Right. 
and yeah the MRP is 400 this is from Simon and Schuster yeah let's move on to our next one that is this the packaging is so nice this is from Amazon I got just one book from Flipkart that too because uh, the price on Amazon got, just got switched from 180 to 400 so I had to and yeah I, the one tiny thing which I don't think anyone else believe in but it's my observation that Flipkart's packaging of books is much finer than Amazon. Amazon just wrap it in a single packet of polythene and spines are broken sometimes but Flipkart mostly give it in cardboard boxes so I love their packing and yeah wow 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 this is okay sorry for the over excitement this is the memory keeper's daughter this is one of the best treats of 2020 and uh, this is everywhere you can hear about it everywhere and the MRP is in euro 7.99 I don't know what's the MRP in rupees and I can't con calculate right now but to uh, yeah, I got it for 162 rupees. Yes, I got it for 162 rupees and the cover is so pretty and I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it so soon. I can't decide which one to read. Three of them. Now, it's the turn for books I have already opened. So, uh, I got this package three days back and uh, I got these five books from Shelfie Book. I am currently rep of Shelfie Book and this brand is seriously one single brand on Instagram which impresses me so much and I am with the relationship with them from the beginning like when they were just starting their page or venture or brand I am linked to that from that time and yeah these all are second hand book but believe me you can't differentiate seriously you can't differentiate i got these five books for 900 rupees this is the museum of innocence by urhan pamo this is a thick book and um, it might seem a little bit scary like how would you read that but i have read snow by urhan pamo and he's great seriously great so fine author if i say so fine his writings are so moving and um, i couldn't stop myself from buying one another book of him so i will read it in 2021 and this is a second hand copy but it's so good and they never give you pirated copies and their books are at the most affordable or cheapest rate you can imagine for the books Right now, there is a sale going on till 31st, so just go and grab your books. Second is the C, the C. This is a bit molded in between, but I think that's the problem with delivery guy. And book is in perfect condition. And yeah, this is also a thick book. I buy so many thick books. And then I, when I have to pick them up, I think like, can I read this? Should I read this? I have too many thin books. I should start with them. But when I go in there, na, I just finish it in maximum three or four days. So, that this is The Sense of Fathers by Jeffrey Archer. I have read Heads You Win and that book is also same edition, same cover edition. And um, can you just imagine this is a second hand book. It doesn't seem like, right? and uh, Jeffrey Archer is great I have read one book by him and I'm totally impressed I have three more books by him and this one four so I'm gonna read almost all <laughs> Jeffrey Archer and two more that is Robert Harris Fatherland and uh, I haven't read any book by Robert Harris but heard a lot through my friends so I thought why don't give it a try and this is Enduring Love by Ian McWan. I'm currently reading this one and so far I have gone to 10 pages and yeah, it got, got my attention. Why I chose this actor because I watched Aton Atonement a few days back and um, I was um, aware that this movie is adapted from a book and uh, my books are falling. 
Okay, so that movie was so great. Although it was like something is missing, which surely happens when you adapt a book into a movie. But that book, that movie was so great. So I thought, why don't I try this author? So I got this Enduring Love. How pretty is this cover? Now I'm gonna. <laughs> there are too many books. I'm gonna go back to all my books I have purchased before lockdown, I think, or after. I don't know which are already opened. So just wait and watch. Okay, so um, that Amazon and Flipkart sale during Div Diwali, I got only four books, and because I didn't have the budget or the money at that time, so but I made sure that those four books were the. Uh, best selling or best books or books I have been waiting for so long so yeah okay first book is The Night Circus and this cover is so pretty so pretty so pretty it just reflects when you move it in light and I haven't read it yet guilty but uh, I'm gonna read it because I got so many review copies in between so I couldn't and uh, yeah Second is Trevor Noah, Born a Crime. This is non-fiction about racism and um, you can see it everywhere. Goodreads is filled with so many positive reviews about this one. So I got this and I haven't read this year too. Guilty. <laughs> Third is A Man Called O. Oh my God. This book will just shake you down. Seriously, just shake you down. This is the finest book I read in 2020. One of the finest book I read in 2020 and I can reread it. I can surely reread it, reread it so many times and I just love with this book and I'm in love with O. He's, okay, I don't, I won't give you a spoiler. And the last one is Girl, Woman and Other. This is a hardcover copy and um, I read it. This is great. I've also posted a review on Instagram just go and check it out and I got all these four books for 600 rupees yeah on that sale I got this for 600 rupees and except the night circus all three from Flipkart and this is from Amazon so wait for sale if you want, want to buy books at a cheap rate Next are two books I purchased from an online site on Instagram that is get to relate or get a daddy to relate something like that username. I just forgot sorry because it's been six months and I got these two copies the 40 rules of love and the color purple and um, this was uh, for 500 rupees without any shipping charge and I did, when I compared the price with Amazon it was 30 or 40 rupees less so it doesn't it was not a big difference but uh, yeah the books were perfect in condition no shipping charge and it came in between two days after my order so it was great experience i think and uh, yeah i have read both these books in 2020 and i loved this one i'm obsessed with this one i have rented a lot about it on uh, instagram my stories my post everything i just keep recommending it read it read it read it everyone just read it just read it just go and grab this book and read it now these two i got from a second hand bookstore a girl named honey uh, who works in a bookstore and uh, also sells books on instagram and i got these for rupees 500 i think this is jody picklot i have heard a lot about her but haven't read a single book so I start, tried to give her a chance and I searched through Google and Goodreads and I found that the most positive responses of all her books was 19 minutes so I just immediately got this one this is a thick book again and this is a memoir by Bernie Noral now and forever she was a breast cancer patient and it's a memoir I love memoir. I have read Be Becoming and always a fan of female memoir especially. So I'm excited to read this one. I haven't read both. Get it. Next are these two books I got on my birthday. That is 1st of September. Just remember and gift me next time. <laughs> well, 
दिस इज द स्कारलेट लेटर एंड आई हैव रेड दिस दिस इज सो ग्रेट सीरियसली इट्स अ क्लासिक एंड इट्स अ फाइन बुक I got this on my birthday, and this is best couple ever by Navneel Chakravarti. This some guy um, gifted me on my birthday from Instagram because a uh, few days back I sold my books to him at a cheap best rate. So he was over impressed by my humbleness. So he gifted me that, and till till now, and before that we had no connection. So but I am glad I got a book, and I've read this recently, just finished it two days back. and it's a finest thriller just read it and yeah next are these books all the penguin editions of classics and there's a story behind that in pandemic i was in my village stuck in my village i went there for a one month holiday and then the lockdown so i had to be there and i went with six books with me for one month that was enough and uh, after that when the lockdown implemented i was like oh my god what i will do now and before that just one thing before that i sh- shouldn't used to read ebooks but i learned to read ebooks in pandemic and it was a great experience and you should read ebooks but short ones don't pick up a book of 1000 or 800 pages and just start reading on your screen it will this give you so much headache so later i got to know that flipkart is delivering so i ordered this together six of them and just get it it was like i was hungry i'm so desperate for books and my mother didn't stop me so i got all these classics together and they were cheapest rate possible i mean cheapest you won't believe i got these five books for rupees 350 right so this is sense and sensibility pride and pride and prejudice persuasion all of them by jane austen i have also emma but it's different edition and uh, madam bovary by gustave flaubert and moby dick by herman melville i have read pride and prejudice madam bovary and persuasion only two are left sense and sensibility and moby dick and it's again a thick book well <laughs> Well, so I'm so great because this looks so good on my shelf, and this was my cheapest collection, New Year's cheapest collection. So I'm happy. Next are the um four books which I bought only because I saw people recommending it on Bookstagram, and uh, you know when you read uh, such a nice review, you just can't stop yourself from buying that book. So I quickly. go back on amazon and ordered it i regretted it later for one book but yeah the experience was good so i don't mind this is the girl in white cotton after a man called o this is the finest finest book i read in 2020 seriously finest it just trembled me seriously shaked me from within and it is so so strong it was also nominated as the finalist for booker's prize if you know and uh, avni doshi you are so great i love this book and i recommend this on here although it's not a video about book recommendation but i love this book and i got it for 220 currently it's for 250 on amazon the name said by jhumpa leri jhumpa leri i made a video about her few days back and she is great this book is so great the cover is so pretty and i got this book for 200 only which is currently 360 or 70 on amazon so i got it on right time and this book was also good i have read it okay so i have read so many reviews and it was so hyped if you say and whenever you have this expectation in your brain before picking up a book because you have read so many reviews and everyone was like wow 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 this is great book just read it just read it just read it you have so much expectations and then the book is nice the writing is great the story is brilliant but it couldn't meet your expectation and then you blame yourself why you read so many reviews before reading the book so yeah it was a nice book but i had too much expectations from it which was a fault from my side i guess 
Next is the Prophet, Prophet by Khalil Gibran and uh, also you can see it everywhere on Instagram. Everyone is praising this and this is one finest box seriously. Anyone going through some emotional turbulence, anyone going through some confusion in their brain, just pick it up and read it. Seriously, read it. These are the most powerful, deep and you know, serene teachings. See, I love this book and it's so uh, short and with large phones that you can finish it in one go. But I suggest read it in three or four days with short intervals because you want to savor books like this. You just don't want to finish it, but savor every bit of it. Next is the rudest book ever. This is a self-help book. Honestly, I'm not so good about reading self-help books because I'm an optimistic person already and um, I have this perspective about life whenever some problem arises in front of me. I have a, you know, easy way out from it. Or if I panic or stress, I just calm myself down and keep telling my brain, no, you will get out from this. You will get out from this. I keep just um, nagging my brain about this. So I'm not so good about self-help books and I don't choose them easily. I take a lot of time before deciding should I buy this self-help book or not. But I've read a seriously nice reviews about this book and one of the girl, Kathy, the bookish fame, on Instagram, she also wrote a nice review about it and I believe her. She is so honest. I trust her. So I got this book. And this is a self-help book, but it uh, is unique when it comes to, you know, explaining things like every self-help book says that uh, be this, don't be that, be this, be that, tips and tricks, what you should do, what you should not do, or how you should react or everything. This, why the, what's the name, the rudest book ever, it's seriously the rudest book ever. It will feel like the author is talking to you like your best friend. Hey babe, kya kar rahe? Type this. But you will feel so great about reading this because when you get the connection of your best friend, just imagine, you will believe his words. So read it. Now the video has become so long and even if I edit it, it's, it's gonna be for 20 minutes at least. I'm gonna quickly uh, show you all my review copies. And this is Mohini the Enchantress by Anuja Chandra Moli. This is one of the finest book of this season if you can say and it's a mythological fiction about women and the writing is brilliant seriously brilliant i haven't read a single book by this author but i am her fan seriously i'm her fan and i love this book the cover is so pretty and i have reviewed it on instagram too next is the undeserving boss by hasina sayeda and this is a, about a corporate life and situation of women in that corporate uh, life. So this book was great for one time read and yeah, I gave it 4 out of 5 rating. Next is BrickCementN.com and this is about entrepreneurship and this was a, also a fine book. Writing was good according to um, debut book of uh, any author, the writing was fine seriously. Next is The Soul Voyager by Meera Jinkal. This book uh, is uh, not a book which everyone will get, but you have to concentrate and read little slowly to get that uh, what author is trying to say. It's about magical realism and uh, it was great. Cover is pretty and book was thin. You can finish it in two days, but you have to concentrate 100% to get the meaning of this book. Next, unlocking the lockdown stories. That cover is so pretty, I know. And uh, this was good, but I didn't like it much. And uh, yeah, this was a review copy. Next is the life sa lifesaver, a self help book. As I said, I don't like self help books much, but this is seriously awesome. And uh, I got this re review copy. And you know when author is presenting her own practical example in self-help books it has a different way of impacting your readers so this author Grishma I talked to her personally on Instagram she's a nice person and she has gone through depression herself and this book is where she came out of that so just believe her and read this 
Next is paper boats. It's a poetry book. It's a review copy and uh, there are so many poetries and you shouldn't read poetry. Just sit and finish the whole book. No, you won't get it. No, no, no. If you're reading poetry, just read it one by one, one by one, slowly, gradually, just savor the taste, just get the meaning, just get the rhythm, everything. So this is thin. Yeah, I know, but take two or three days. Next is Gauri. This is a fiction book, a fictional story by Satya Sam. And it's a review copy. It was good, but um, not as per my expectations. Next is The Fragile Thread of Hope by Pankaj Giri. This is awesome book. I am glad I got this review copy. This is about life of two people who have every chance to be hopeless. I mean, they take one step and they are hopeless. They take second again and they are hopeless. I mean, the life was giving them so many, so many obstacles to just give up on hope, but they didn't. And in the end, they succeeded. So it's all about hope. And this is seriously right. The writing is so great. Next is The Mind Game by Devika Das. This is a self-help book. I know, I say I don't read, but I have too many self-help books. This is a review copy and uh, this was good, seriously good. It's all about your emotions, how we let our emotions be master of ourselves and how can we turn it other way around. So this is a great book and I'm gonna post a review about it in upcoming one or two days. So check it out on my Instagram. So yeah, I guess that's it. Those were too many books, too many books, too many books. And I'm not sure that I have shown you each one of my book I got in 2020 but so far I have shown you all the important ones and yeah next uh, all these books all single one of them came under 300 except one or two which I got for 310 or 320 and every other book is 250, 220, 200, 200. I don't purchase books of uh, you know high amount. I keep waiting for the price to drop and then I purchase it. So you should also do that. And as I told you, don't drink coffee once a week. Make it once a month. Save your money. Buy books. Fill up your shelf. So yeah, that's it. And uh, I have read 89 books in 2020 till now and I'm trying to make it 90 till the end of December so let's see I would suggest you to do that buy books if you want to read them don't buy it just to be a book collector or you are trying to open your bookstore just invite me and give me books for free well Merry Christmas ho 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 and um, be happy keep reading keep reading keep reading and keep coming back to me because i will give you all the book recommendations and book reviews and follow me on instagram and bye bye